Hi, I'm Christina Tobin, and you're on the Free and Equal Network today. And we have a friend of mine that I've known for probably almost a couple years now. Uh, we met in L L.A. and we're in Los Angeles today. Preston Smiles, welcome to the network today. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Christina. Well, that's the first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so what you have here is Mr. Original. Um, he is his own niche. He's his own category with what he does. It's so diverse. And being around Preston is just like this, this energy that I feel uh, will... Um, it's an energy that the world is shifting towards, a very positive, solution-based, uh, happy energy. And for all of our listeners out there who don't know Preston Smiles, I would love for you to get a better feel of him today. Preston, uh, let our listeners know, what do you do? Who are you? And what has inspired you in the daily things that you do to make the world a better place, which is what I see. Uh, uh, what do you do? Let what do I do? Yeah, um, I, I guess the, the best way to even start that was, is what do I be? And uh, I be love, uh, <laughs> if that makes any sense. My, my entire through line, and I'm going to explain to you what I do, but the through line for everything that I do is love. Because I believe that love is all there is, and that there is no separation, that we are actually one in like reality, and that um, all of the stories that we have running about gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Democrat, Republican, all of that stuff is all uh, an illusion and some form of separation. And under all of those stories, under all of it, is our truth, which is love. And so I do that by um, speaking at different colleges and schools and all over and I am also a graffiti artist on social media where I spread and spray paint love everywhere in some form or fashion. And I'm also the CEO and founder of a social movement called the Love Mob, which is organized acts of love. We do giant flash mobs and different love-based events, which is where I met you at. Uh, yeah. She came to one of our events um, looking all fine with her legs out. Um, <laughs> um, she came in as a bright light, and I was immediately like, who is this amazing person? And Thank you. the rest has been history. A mutual friend of ours, Kelly Mays, mm -hmm. uh, if you Google her, is a uh, female rapper. Yes. Uh, she comes up first. Kelly Mays uh, performed at a, our, United, our first United We Stand Fest last May, so she said, you need to come to this event, and I went there, and had no idea you were organized. There's all these people, and it's just you could feel this radiation of, of leadership. This is what you are. You're a leader. I, I feel that. And a true leader, a uh, gentleman once uh, I read, you know, um, a true leader creates more leaders, not followers. And thank you for leading. And I see people around you, they rise, you know, with your energy. And that is uh, the shift, you know, having individuals like ourselves and many others coming together and unity to give people direction and, and do great things in the world, which is what you do. So. For sure. For <laughs> um, sure. With the Love Mob, can you tell a little bit of people who don't know about it uh, what that is? And I know that you do a lot of public speaking. Um, mm -hmm. What does that consist of? And uh, m maybe you're a writer too? I well, am. Kind of, I, am. Yeah, I didn't yeah, even I say know. that. I know. Yeah. It's like something with writing. So uh, Love Mob, speaking, the book. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? H hook, our, hook our listeners in because we're going to plug your website too. Got it. Awesome. <laughs> so the Love Mob uh, is, like I said, um, organized acts of love. Our idea and the, the come from that we have and our mission is to reconnect 3.6 billion people to the power of community. And the, 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 the dance that we're into is creating a new lane. Right? A, a lane where... Where the, where the cool kids like Christina and I uh, come together yeah. and, and celebrate love. And, you know, we have this hashtag, community is the new money. And what that means for us is like, wow. it's not so important. And, and we've come from this world of dog eat dog and like, who can, you know, crabs in a barrel and all of that stuff. But like, it's not about that anymore. Now it's about how we can support each other because there's enough for everyone. And there always was. So we're, we're, we're changing the paradigm and we do that by education, entertainment and like empowering people through these flash mobs and we have this thing called The Beat which is what you came to. Mm -hmm. The Beat is a 300 person interactive jam session where we bring together all of the dopest musicians and artists from all over 
into one room and have them create this ball of music mm -hmm. and and we allow what is to come through to come through and a part of every love mob is many different aspects like the one you came to you missed it but Marianne Williamson and Michael Beckwith spoke earlier mm -hmm. then we had all these performances mm -hmm. and then we also gave some of the money to a charity uh, that um, was called Project Uganda wow. so uh, th that's the love mob I have many other aspects and she is right I do write I have a book that uh, I'm working on called Love Louder which is a call to action for all of us to turn the volume up on our love therefore turning the volume up on our lives um, and I c can say this I haven't signed the contract yet but it is pretty much going through I just got to deal with Simon and Schuster, which is one of the biggest publishing houses, yeah. Goosebumps! I'm yeah. so proud of you, and I'm not um, surprised to have heard this today, uh, just prior to our interview, because you have this um, in your your mindset of just not giving up. And a lot of people in the world, the system, uh, the things around us, whether it's media and so on, uh, it, it just it, it trains us to think, oh, there's no way we can fix things. But see. When you think that way, you become a mm -hmm. part of the problem, mm -hmm. and that is not okay with me. I probably not with Preston. I, we oh. really, we really have to realize that there is a solution uh, in fixing a lot of things in the world, uh, whether it's through bringing people together and music, the love mob, um, to uh, those informational speeches. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I uh, caught a part of it a little bit at the Full Circle in Venice, mm -hmm. uh, Venice that is Full Circle Venice last week, and so I was glad to catch a little bit of you in a room live. It's different than on video to be yeah. there in person, uh, taking such an interest in that. Um, to a book now that is going to be read by a lot of people. Yep. Hopefully and millions and yeah, <laughs> I didn't even mention I have a YouTube channel which people do. What is it? It's yeah. it's called Questions with Preston and uh -huh. I take ancient uh, universal truths and distill them and synthesize them in a way in which people can actually um, apply them in their day-to-day -day lives and Christina came in uh, during a uh, workshop slash talk that I was doing on redefining manhood which is a gigantic topic right now mm -hmm. because you know at the root of everything we could name everything there is a man behind that there is a man that pulled the trigger uh, for almost all crime including sex trafficking um, all the stuff that's happening in Iraq all the issues we're having in our government all of it is man driven so if we can get under what men are dealing with which is this, you know, this idea of big boys don't cry, which we are playing out over and over again all through our society because we've never been taught to, to speak to each other and say, that actually hurt my feelings. Because for me, and I know I'm going off on a tangent here, men, men um, express themselves in three ways when, when faced with any type of adversity. And that is they shut down, they get silent, they get angry, or it turns into rage. And all of those things we can see throughout our entire society right now. Mm -hmm. Which is why I think it's genius that you are the leader of, of, of free and equal. And, 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 and like, that's exactly what we need. All of us are born with both masculine and feminine energy. We all know that. But our little boys in our society have not been taught to actually access that. And it's going to take powerful people who understand that, like Christina, to, to hold the flag up for everybody else and say, come on, guys, we got this. So thank you. Thank you for showing up. It's a big deal. Thank you so much. It was um, a pleasure to be part of it. I look forward to uh, joining many more speeches of yours in the future. And the art of communication is key. And communicating the issues that we have, whether it's... Uh, uh, the things that we're discussing, uh, men, women, equality, uh, mm -hmm. Marianne Williamson being really keen on uh, getting more people to, women that is, running for office, running for yes. Congress herself, yeah. um, though she was up against a, a flawed electoral system, might, yeah. I, might I say. If it wasn't flawed, she probably would have made it on the ballot for the general election. Uh, and then uh, musicians like Moby, you know, being expressing directly uh, to our publicist, uh, 
Green Equal team that he really would like to see more women in mm -hmm. office and so on. So um, the equality of the communication, that's what Free and Equal Elections and Networks is about, is opening up that dialogue, not yeah. even necessarily debates. Um, we're known for debates mm -hmm. in the past, presidential, but yeah, I feel like are. those debates are not really... The system wants us to, to not talk and have arguments and yeah. divide and no that whole listening. divide and conquer. No thanks. I mean, no thank you for that, mm -hmm. you know, coming together and uh, having a conversation. Because mm -hmm. once we do that, um, you learn so much and you walk away and and just being open minded. So I think like a lot of how you preach and how you speak, it gets people to talk and they may have differences, but it's, it's just amazing. It's not so different once they're open to listening to Not one another. All. Not at all. So on that note, I wanted to also um, plug your website too. Mm -hmm. You have your YouTube. Can you say that again in your website? Yeah, well? if you if you want to find a young chocolate brother like me, uh, you can go to uh, <laughs> PrestonSmiles.com um, or just type in uh, Preston Smiles anywhere and it'll pop up. Um, there's only one me, just like there's only one you. You know, we're all snowflakes, and we are all perfect, whole, and complete, but we're not finished. And that's my whole through line is like none of us are finished. We're always, always, ever evolving, and so is the planet, and so is the government, and so is Christina, and so is Preston, and so are you. And like as long as we like understand that and like you know take the ride, but also do it consciously from love, we're good. Mm -hmm. And you were, I have to mention this, last May when we held our first United We Stand Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, many of our supporters may know out there uh, that uh, we had a, a few uh, unexpected setbacks, but the show still went on and it we did. had it and you were there and a part of it. And mm -hmm. I'm so happy that you're going to be speaking at our upcoming United We Stand Festival this summer in Colorado. Yeah. Uh, very likely will take place September 12th through 13th, but this time around we have several venues competing for it. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is a really good feeling and cities, chambers, maybe mayors, I don't know, but I'm so happy to have you on our stage because everything that you're talking about, there needs to be a platform, mm -hmm. a platform for you to be heard by many others. A book company is great and all, but to actually be out there and to be able to sell those books and what you do. So yeah. I welcome you in being a part of the fest for many years to come. Thank you. And I thank, thank you, you so much for your time today and your sure. beautiful place letting us uh, come here today. So thank you, Preston. Did you have anything else you wanted to add before we wrap up? Hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and as when I mean you, I mean you behind that camera right now listening um you guys are awesome you know we're all on a journey home to the self and uh, along that journey there's going to be scrapes and falls and all kinds of stuff but as long as you you're, you're still breathing you're still in the dance and i honor that in you i honor that beauty in you and that love in you because it's so necessary and thank you for tuning in to something like this no matter where you you stand on the, you know, I'm a Republican, I'm a Democrat, I'm in the middle, whatever that looks like, the reality is, is we're just humans. And we are all in this together. So thank you for, for even coming to check it out. I love you. <laughs> thank you. And that's the Free and Equal Network. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you, Preston, for being here. For sure. So nice to see you as always. Mm -hmm. Signing out. <laughs>